This is Washington, New Washington, a thriving colony on the surface of the moon. We no longer have need of your intergalactic warship. Not today, but maybe tomorrow. For what purpose? To wage war with the universe? No, Senator Smedley, for the defense of our moon colony. This is total madness. This creation of yours, Star Streak, it hasn't even been tested. We don't even know if the damn thing will fly. That's my responsibility, Senator. And my responsibility is to the Moon Council and to the master computer. I could reason with Lomax. Vessel Phobos 4, you are entering Lunar Area 75. Please confirm docking orbit. John, I'm trying to do you a favor. I'm telling you what the Council have already decided. The Star Streak project is dead. Let's see what Lomax has to say, shall we? Phobos 4, please acknowledge this is Lunar Space Control. Phobos 4, confirmation of docking orbit negative. We are overriding and beginning Cobalt Reverse Drive in 10 seconds. Max, this is Lunar Space Control. We have an emergency. Delta Three cargo vessel on crash course. Probable impact, New Washington Center Core. Master computer confirms crash course, New Washington, in 12 minutes. Suggest full emergency procedures. Jason Cabell here. This is Lunar Space Control. We have an emergency. Please report. Okay, I'm on my way. What's the problem, Kim? The problem is Delta Three cargo ship with 10 metric tons of Radic Q2 on board on crash course with New Washington. When? Eight minutes, 52 seconds. Lomax confirms? Lomax confirms. Emergency division, yellow alert. Evacuate entire population to lower city. Seal off access to main dome. Look, are you sure it's not some sort of communication problem? Jason, right now I'm not sure of anything. I just don't want to take any chances. Let's see what else we can do. May I remind you that the Council have great influence with the master computer? Don't fight it, John. Don't make me ask for your resignation. Yellow alert. The whole city's on yellow alert. Go to red. Red alert. Impact? Six minutes. This is not a drill. This 
This is not a drill. All citizens proceed immediately to emergency underground shelters. Evacuate all surface dwellings. <laughs> Kim? Look at the weight distribution on that cargo shield. It's almost empty. An empty cargo ship? Doesn't make sense. Excuse me. Master Computer Lomax, this is Jason Cabell. ID confirmed. Go ahead, Jason. Okay, I need a bypass circuit to overload the Phobos 4 engines. State priority classification. Come on, Lomax, cut the red tape. We have to destroy that ship. Priority request acknowledged. Chicago Control, following a call for impact procedures. Reactors in zero grade status, breeders in emergency. Two minutes to impact. Phobos 4 engine circuit display available. Okay, give me input control for a bypass circuit. Kim. Kim, do you have this emergency under control? We're working on it, Father. Son, are you sure that none of Nikki's people are on board? No life signs at all. Womax confirms. Red alert. Red alert. Evacuate all surface dwellings immediately. Sectors 1 to 6 to shelter A. Sectors 7 to 10 to shelter B. Come on, Lomax. Stand by. This is not a drill. 70 seconds to impact. Procedure complete. Now you may activate. Sensors indicate negative response. Cargo ship did not destruct. Repeat. Did not destruct. Impact. 2. Master Computer Lomax, request dome repair units to begin work immediately on Sky Dome Breach. Commencing restoration of protective environment enclosure. All residents to remain in emergency underground shelters. Status on dome repair, please. Dome repair near completion. Repressurization will commence on structural test. Send search teams to damaged sectors. All debris from cargo vessels should be sent here for examination. Understood.
Sector 20 totally destroyed. Area should be level. Danger of falling debris. Sector 18, minor damage. Report assessment to engineering and repairs. I'll debris from cargo ship to be sent to Lab 6. Stand by. I have visual communication with Delta 3. This is Omus, Robert Master on Delta 3. I would like to talk to Dr. John Cabal. Yes, Omus, this is Cabal. Ah, Doctor. You remember me? Oh, yes, indeed. Now, where's Nikki? I want to talk to your superior. My superior? Oh. Yes, you mean the former governor of Delta 3. I'm afraid Nikki and her followers have fled the Citadel. I am in control now. Well, in that case, you know what just happened. One of your cargo ships crashed into New Washington. But of course, that was my plan. Omus, this is Senator Smedley of the Moon Council. What is it you want? I have made giant strides in technology, Senator. I can bring a new and more efficient way of life to the moon. Well, that's certainly encouraging. Omus, you haven't answered the question. You mean, what do I really want, Doctor? Your respect, of course. And your support for my return to the moon colony. Return? In what capacity? As supreme commander of the moon, the Earth, and all the outposts in our solar system. Well, that, of course, is out of the question. If that is your reaction, Senator, then you will be hearing much more from me. Beginning immediately, there will be no further shipments of Radic Q2. This is madness! You're talking more like a blackmailer than a man of science. John, don't provoke him. Now listen to me, Omus. We will never surrender New Washington to you or anyone else, even if it means war. John, you don't have the authority to make that decision. Don't talk of war, my dear doctor. It would be disastrous, as tragic as the robot wars that devastated the Earth planet. Please, consider my proposal. You mean you're a threat? Sector 20. We found the pilot. It's wedged in here. May take a while to get it out. What do you mean, it? A robot. Send it to robot repair as soon as possible. See you later. I'm going to go take a look at this suicide robot. Good. Well, Senator. We've survived one attack. We may not be so lucky this second time. John, this man, uh, Omis, you said he was a, a student of yours. Oh, yes, one of my brightest. In fact, I recommended his appointment to the Delta III unit. Well, then you should be able to tell us how to deal with him. Well, he's a superb technician, but I could never quite decide what value he put on human life. Uh, sir, we have another problem. Well? How do we treat radiation without a supply of Radic Q2? We have emergency supplies. What we must do immediately is stop shipments to Earth. Even if it means people will die, Senator? No, Jason. Jason, my first responsibility is through the moon colony. Naturally, I'm concerned about the Earth people. But we have a greater responsibility than just that to ourselves, Senator. You've got to stop Omus. We're going to have to mobilize Starstreak. John, we don't seem to be able to agree on anything. Dumpty had a great fall. Well, let's see if we can't put you back together again. Lomax, what is your opinion? How do we handle this emergency? 
From data stored in computer baffles, it would seem that an act of aggression on our part would be imprudent. Lomax, you authorized the building of Star Streak. For exploration and defensive purposes only. Even so, the ship has never been fully tested. Her guidance system is not stabilized. The spectrum drive, G-forces, may prove too intense for the new alloy on the hull, and certainly the distance to Delta III constitutes an inhibiting factor to such a journey. I suggest you extend the early warning detection range and carefully monitor all approaching cargo vessels. Senator, instruct the Moon Council that no aggressive acts are to be taken against Delta III. The Council shall be so instructed. Well, Kim, you were right. There was something weird about that circuitry. The robot was programmed to blow himself up. This one will turn him into a pussycat. Okay, get the tapes quick. Tapes. There you go. Okay. Okay. Let's give him a jolt. Okay, I don't know what they called you on Delta Three, but I'm gonna call you Sparks. I, I, I am, I am. Are you working? I am, I am self-adjusting new circuits. I am self-adjusting new circuits. New circuits. New circuits. New circuits. New circuits. Thank you. You are the dark lady of my sonnets, the lily of my valley. Ah, yeah, you can call me Kim. Looks like I made a poet out of you, friend. <laughs> Son, Omus wants to control all of our lives, just the same way he controls his robots. He sees himself as some kind of benevolent dictator. He wants us to respect him, but at the same time, fear him. Well, our society has no place for a dictator, not even a benevolent one. So what do we do? Meet me in space terminal, Sector 2. Star Street. prohibited area. Hey, Sparks. This should complete your history course. Thank you, my dark lady of the sonnets. Now I have something to show you. I do have certain talents, you know. Watch this. What do you call it? Bilocational transference, BLT for short. Whatever you say. Advised sensors indicate fuel rods are overheating. Stability region has been surpassed and spectrum drive fuel pile is approaching meltdown point. The emergency cooling system must be reinforced with auxiliary supply of moderator. Authorized presence on Star Street. Determine whereabouts of all senior personnel. Kim? 
Mr. Pilot? Yeah. Well, I've sort of shortened him up, reprogrammed him. He really does some incredible things. Hello, Jason. <laughs> so I see. Listen, my father's up to something involving Starstreak. I may need your help. Okay, what do you want me to do? Just come with me. It won't take too long. All right. <clears throat> no, Sparks, you've got to stay here. Whether thou goest, I will go. He's sort of attached to me. I'll bring him along. It might be useful. Okay. Fuel pile is cooling and reactions decelerating. Radiation reaching tolerable level. Cobalt drive reactors will achieve full power in 10 minutes. Q2 imperative. Danger. You have been exposed to extremely high radiation levels. Immediate treatment with Radic Q2 imperative. Danger. You have been exposed. Have you found Dr. Cabal? No, Senator. Or his son, Jason? No. Lomax, they're up to something. You must shut down all launch support systems immediately. I am in full control of the situation, Senator. Be patient. We will locate Dr. Cabal. Kim, what are you doing here? What's this all about? I'm taking Star Street to Delta Three. But we have orders from Lomax. No, the master computer is wrong. Softwares now could destroy us. I'm going to stop Homus by myself if I have to. You won't have to do it by yourself. Well, I was rather counting on your help, son. Huh? Thanks. I'm going to. I would like to help. Oh, hello. Uh, who's your shiny friend? Ed Sparks. Well, all right, the, uh, the four of us. But we have to launch immediately. No, we're not ready. I gotta do a pre-flight check. No, I'm afraid we don't have... I've located Dr. Cabal. Visual scanners on Star Streak activated. Lomax has tracked us here. Sound we've got to go now, or not at all, sir. Count down to ignition. Now, Mr. Sparks. Sequence for lunch. This is a robot console. Similar to those on cargo ships, but much more sophisticated. Dr. Cabal, I detect a need for medication. Yeah, well, you just keep that to yourself, Sparks. You understand? Now that's an order. Stand by for liftoff in 30. I'm going 29, to the ships. 28, 27, 26, 
Gyelectron compass reading normal. Well, on our way. Out there is the vastness of space. The unknown. Where all possibilities exist. Man's future is limited only by his imagination and his vision of the stars. Father, Star Streak is everything you wanted. Very impressive. Correct pulse ratio point zero zero four. And how about you, Sparks? What do you think? It's better than a Delta Three cargo ship, Doctor. Delta Three. Yeah, I wonder what happened to Nikki. I hope she's all right. I think we're ready now, Nikki. Listen, everybody. We must get back into the Citadel. We have to send a message out somehow. We should get through the tunnels all right, but the Citadel itself is like a fortress. I think that there's a way through the abandoned caverns into the power plant. Okay, come on, let's go. Excellent. Everything is falling neatly into place.
Washington. Calling New Washington. This is Nikki, the governor of Delta Three. Calling New Washington. This is the Delta Three Citadel. Nikki calling. We need some assistance. We need some assistance. <laughs> Channels are open to New Washington. This is New Washington. We hear you, Nikki. Proceed with your message. Sound, general alarm. did. What now? I'm not sure, Merrick. Doctor. We have malfunctions of the Gylectron compass. Auto guidance systems and the control flow units. We're gonna have to sit down. Well, we can't go back to the mound. There's only one place we can go to make repairs. Earth. Set coordinates for vector seven five nine. There's an old emergency tanker station there, more or less abandoned now, but the guidance beacon ought to be in working order. Is there anyone living in the area? Yeah. Charlie Montgomery, an old friend of mine. Sort of guard, caretaker at the station. 
He's due to retire back to the moon in a few years, but uh, he'll be able to help us. Coordinates set for Vector 759, planet Earth. Any chance Lunar Control might have put out a report about us? Possible that we can trust Charlie. It's going to be strange being back on the Earth again. It's been almost seven years. Seven years since the last of the great robot wars and the end of civilization as we had known it. It's funny, I still think of myself as an Earth child. You were one of the lucky ones who escaped in time. Estimated arrival 600 hours. Good. I'm going to strap myself in. Approaching orbit altitude or Earth. Walking into orbit coordinates. Gravitational control, set for tanker beacon, YR321. Gravity equilibrium confirmed. Repair for module separation. Separation confirmed. Descent block to beacon YR321. Shutdown completed. I'll stay with you, Doctor, and help with your repairs. All right. We'll see if we can find Charlie Montgomery then. Sure, give him my regards. Tell him he owes me a rematch at chess. Okay. Bye. Come on, let's take a look inside. Charlie? Charlie? Charlie Montgomery? He must be around someplace. How's the equipment? Seems to be all right. I'm gonna go check the tower. Kim? Yeah. Mind how you go.
fools around someplace. Come in, please, Kim. Kim. This is Jason calling Star Street. Come in, please, Star Street. Yes, what is it, Jason? I found a dead body near the station. What? Charlie? I'm afraid so. And that's not all. I can't seem to locate Kim. Well, what do you mean? I don't know. She disappeared. Disappeared? Oh, sir, I've got a vehicle here. I don't know if I can get it running, though. Well, it's rough terrain. You'll need it. I'm going to send Sparks to help you. Okay, uh... No, Sparks, I want you to check radiation readings in the area. Yes, Doctor. I want to know if Jason and Kim are in danger. What about you, Doctor? Don't you worry about me, Sparks. I've <clears throat> never had a nursemaid before, and I don't intend to have one now. Sorry, Doctor. That's all right. So, uh, why don't you just get on with it? Precisely what I had in mind. What took you so long? I'm a little out of condition. Detectors locate Kim's vital signs, three kilometers west two quadrant. Oh, yes, she alone? I can't get an exact reading, but I'm picking up a high radiation level in this area. Well, hop in unless you want to walk. Gotta stop doing that. Hold on. A malfunction in the H2O containment system. Now what? I'm picking up Kim. All life functions seem intact, but she isn't alone. Sensors also detect higher radiation levels ahead. Let me lead the way.
children. Children must be survivors of the great robot war. They must have been taken from the city just before it started. I don't believe this. These kids must have been living out here for years. You all right? Scared. Yeah. I found a dead body in the air station. It was Charlie. The children told me. He was trying to help them. Jason, they're sick. Very sick. Radiation. Hey, don't be afraid. Burks is our friend. I guess they still have a fear of robots after what they did to this world. These old weapons are leaking toxic substances. I suggest that children be treated with Radic Q2 as soon as possible. I'll be going back to the ship now. Jason, let's get the kids out of here. Let's get back to the ship. Come on, kids. We must inform Jason and Kim of your condition. Oh, they've got enough to do without worrying about me. Anyway, I feel fine. No, I, I've managed this far, and I'll make it through to the end. This is Jason calling Star Street. Come in, please, Star Street. Well, I've got Kim. We're on our way back to this ship. All right, out. Jason, you just listen to me. We've got to get back to the ship and back on our way to Delta Three. These children need our help. Look, we can't go back to the moon now. We can't take these children with us. Look, if we can get the Delta III, we could pick up a supply of Radek and be back here in a few days. That's the best chance these kids have got, and you know that. Yeah. Listen, kids, I know you've had a tough time with it, but please, just trust us. We won't let you down, I promise. Okay, now you kids just stay here, okay? Because we're going to come back and get you. Delta-3. Sequence for spectrum drive. Activate pulse generators for force shield. 
Pulse generator activated. Good. <sighs> Initiating spectrum drive. experience. I don't feel anything. We're approaching the speed of light. It's just incredible. As a matter of fact, I feel very comfortable. Well, just be glad the force shield is fully operative. Because at these speeds, a particle of dust could punch a hole in the side of the ship. I'm beginning to feel a little less comfortable. So am I. Drive approaching control speed. I'm gonna lock off now. Well, that couldn't have been smoother. Any course correction, Sparks? Negative. No deviation from set flight path, 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 path. Take it easy, Sparks. I'll reprogram a better self-adjusting tape for you when we get back to the moon. Pattern. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Any time, Sparks. Well, the ship's performing beautifully. And uh, I'm beginning to feel just a little hungry. You look a little tired. No, no, Kim. I'm not tired. I'm just uh, hungry. Yeah, well, I guess we could all use something to eat, huh? Sure. Nothing for me, thanks. Okay. Perhaps later. Here. Our last hope to send a signal out into space. on replay. It's unbelievable. Yes, but I detect we are in some danger. I suggest a course alteration. Now what's that? Nothing serious. A minor malfunction in the spectrum drive auto locks. I'm gonna make a systems check. Not necessary. Everything's under control.
booster activated. You send out a signal, almost could be point of location. Yes, we will just have to take that chance. By the way, Kim, I am looking forward to that new tape when we get back. I don't know, Sparks. Sometimes the way you look at me, you give me the feeling that... Uh, it. You are just a robot, aren't you? I'm afraid so, but if there is any change, you'll be the first to know. Yeah. Oh, th 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 this is a very old book, rescued from the Earth Museum many years ago. Must be very rare. Oh, yes, it is, yes. Most of them were destroyed, of course. Some of them survive in memory baffles, but uh, that, that's the real thing. What's it about? About, well, uh, well, it's, uh, it, it's about uh, your people in an ancient country called Greece bunch of philosophers and they well they they tried to understand the nature of the universe of course they had only their own imagination but uh, what an imagination it was their vision their ideas never ceased to amaze me Pay no attention. I'm just a musty old professor lecturing to myself. No, you're much more than that. Well, you don't have to humor me just because I'm an old man, you know. You're the youngest man I know. Thank you. I'm getting an intense gravitational pull on my readouts. Inboard computer reports proximity of an enormous magnetic field. What do you suggest, Sparks? Counter with equal push. We'll have to increase spectrum drive. By point zero zero two. Zero zero two. Locked in. I've got zero zero four, Jason. No, zero zero two. It's zero zero six now and we're still increasing. It just can't be. We're going out of control. Sparks? The switches are jammed. Give me a manual override. Negative. It won't release. What do you mean negative? I can't bring this peak down. Spectrum drive will lock in for Get back! Closing rapidly on magnetic field. We're gonna break up. They're just going on.
the hell was that all about? I believe we have been through time dilation. Kim. Kim? Kim. We wrote it out. We're still in one piece. Correct pulse, point zero zero four. Decrease thruster level. Drive control now reading normal. Switching off force field. Pulse generator deactivated. Jason, look. Delta three. Sparks, can we have an update on our coordinates? We're within the gravitational pull of Delta three, but our excessive speed has used up most of our nuclear power. How bad is it, Sparks? We'll be lucky just to limp into orbit, Doctor. Hold on, I have a monitor sighting. A Delta three cargo ship, the same as Phobos four, robot pilot aboard, full explosive load in the hold. No doubt on another collision course with New Washington. We don't have the power now to catch up and destroy it. We could try and fire a missile. No, no, we haven't got the maneuverability, Jason. Well, even if we could get close, our armament system hasn't been tested. Oh, it means more destruction to New Washington. And we just have to stand by and do nothing. I'm picking up radio signals from Delta Three. It's a distress signal. Can you get a fix on that, Sparks? I have the exact coordinates. All right, then. We're going down. Prepare to disengage. Okay. Good. Approaching orbit altitude for Delta Three. Locking into orbit coordinates. Counter gravitational control set for signal beacon WA3581. Gravity equilibrium confirmed. Prepare for module separation. Anti-gravitational controls activated. Well, well, what do we have here? An expedition to our fair planet. Nikki, look. Someone dead here. Come on! It seems to me we ought to send out a little reception committee. Someone seems to know we're here. Kim Smedley, my son Jason. Hello. This is Merrick, my deputy. Hello there. Welcome, friends, but we better get away from here. Too late. Brian, discharge the robot and left the force.
I am Omus, Emperor of Delta III. Welcome, my dear Dr. Cabal. How marvelous to see you. I want to talk to you, Omus, in person, not just to a disembodied face. However impressive your holographic invention. Ah, Doctor. I have many impressive things to show you in my citadel. All right, let's get on with it. How do I get to the citadel? It's nearby. My guard, Robot, will bring you. John, this could be dangerous. I'm aware of that, Nikki. Father, please, don't try it alone. It's too risky. If anyone can get to him, maybe I can. Turn to New Washington than in Cabal's pride and joy. <laughs> well, I'm not waiting any longer. I'm going to the Citadel. It's not that easy. Show me the way, won't you? Do you really want me to? Sparks? Go ahead. How's the power problem? Still working on it. Okay, keep monitoring us and uh, maintain sensors in Dr. Cabal, all right? Affirmative. It's this way. Okay. Dr. Cabal. relationship almost I think you owe me some sort of explanation wait until you see what I've accomplished it's astonishing give me a doctor This is Erratic Q2 Factory. My empire. With a network of underground tunnels. My mechanical warriors, mining robots, turned into obedient soldiers. With a new circuitry to handle more sophisticated input. And a capacity for independent thought. But totally loyal to you, no doubt. <laughs> you spoke to us of a new technology. Of peace, not war. Don't you understand? Once you accept me as ruler, there will be no acts of aggression, only peace. Under my rule, the people will want for nothing. Except freedom. Well, the Moon Colony will never accept a dictator. That's one thing at least we've learned from the history of the planet Earth. You insist. 
consult me, Doctor. You are the one who inspired me, taught me to play science above all else. But never above humanity. If I didn't teach you that, then I failed you miserably. Oh, must give up, give up this insane plan of yours. But I am almost Emperor of Delta Three. I don't want to hear anymore. I don't think I even know you. You're some sentimental old fool who doesn't understand anything. I, I am the world of the future. You're back in some dark past. People are no longer necessary. Even I, someday, may no longer be necessary. And you, Dr. Cabal, are certainly no longer necessary. Almost, you're a sick man! Let me help you! No, Doctor! Let me help you. Let me give you your last lesson on the power of science. Merrick, you stay here with the others. Kim, Jason, and I are going in. Where's your humanism now, Doctor? Dr. Cabal, I'm not getting any of your vital signs. Dr. Cabal, do you read me? D3R765? This is not Dr. Cabal. This is Omos. Your creator. It's Omus, and he's alone. Go ahead. Omus. Get the cloak off him. Uh, be careful. Okay. It's a severe radiation burn. He was dying. But that isn't what killed him. It was Omis. You sure? Yes. Sparks? 
Sparks, do you read me? Sorry, Sparks. Try. Sparks, this is Kim. Do you read me? What's he doing? With the modules moving, what's he doing? Sparks! Sparks, please, don't you remember? Omus could be anywhere. In the tunnels, the oil refineries, the old staff quarters. Get Merrick and the others. We're gonna need help. Okay, come on. In, please. Don't waste your energies. Omas. Yes. And you're the son of John Cabal. I've been expecting you. Star Street Motor. It will arrive at the Citadel any moment now. What do you want with Star Street? It'll become my new flagship. I'm saying a last farewell to this place and to you and your friends. Except, of course, Sparks, who's now working for me. You see, I am going to destroy Delta Three. Why? For what reason? Because I am returning to the moon as spiritual successor to the late Dr. Cabal, who unfortunately died heroically, along with the rest of you, in a tragic cosmic accident, and there will be no one to prove me wrong. When I activate that switch, it will set into motion the most incredible forces. What is normally an evolutionary process that could take a billion years, I can speed up into a matter of minutes. You'll destroy the entire planet and our only source of Radic Q2? My cargo ships are fully loaded. They will accompany me on my mission of peace. Starstreak has arrived. Program Omus's robots. Ready? 
Stopped. It's too late. How long we got? About ten minutes. Jason. We've got to get the star streak. The planet's gonna blow up. Merrick and the others are dead. Come on. Let's Same language. Okay, where are you now? Aboard Star Street, just outside the Citadel. Spark Delta 3 is gonna blow. Get to one of the cargo ships. We're gonna establish a supply of Rad Q2. Why are you doing this to me? I am the creator!
possibilities exist, man's future is limited only by his imagination and his vision of the stars.